how many people get to meet one of their heroes? One Grand Prairie High School student did just that and got to walk away with something really cool. What, what, I, what I have here is a token that I want to give to you. I got this token from a friend of mine who is best friends with Stan Lee, the creator of who? Spider-Man. Yes, sir. And they are they're giving this autographed Stan Lee comic book for me to give to you as a token. Okay, so you just got a really cool gift today from uh, Stan Lee, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, I'm excited because one of my favorite people signed a comic book that I really like. Because without him, Spider-Man wouldn't have became a success. Are you a big Stan Lee fan? Mm-hmm. I'm a huge fan of him. Okay. You really like comic books, don't you? Yes. And you kind of do some of your own drawing, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me about your drawings. Well, when I show a lot of people, they say I'm very talented, and that makes me proud. It makes me want to do it even more. So tell us a little bit about what you want to do when you get out of high school. I want to be a film director and create all the stories I want to create. What are you going to do with this comic book? I'm going to take very good care of it because it's very special. You know what? That was really cool. And... <sighs> Hello. So, today... One of my biggest influences of all time just passed away today. His name was Stan Lee. He created one of the most iconic superheroes and villains of all time. He was the comic book king. I've been a fan of him since I seen his movies. I have a lot of his movies. Spider-Man will always be my favorite superhero that he has ever created. And, um, you see, today, November 12th, 2018, my teacher told me to step into the hallway for a second. He told me that Stanley died. And I was like, what? Oh, this is so sad. Because one day, I actually wanted to meet him, tell him how much of a fan I was, and I wanted to show him some of my work. And, um, what else? I created my own kinds of superheroes that I want to make into a comic book someday. I'm not going to give out too much information about them, but I was inspired by Stan Lee. He's one of my biggest heroes. But, about Stan Lee, and if you have a biggest influence on someone that you admire, they want you to know that you don't have to be a fan of them. You can be a fan of yourself. That's what's more important. And he knows he had, he had a lot of fans, and I'm one of them. I have a comic book that was actually signed by him. I didn't meet him in person, but, but I was really proud of it. On my freshman year, my teacher has a buddy who works for Stan Lee, and they gave me a comic book that was signed by him. It, it was It's on video somewhere, but I lost it. I'll try to find it again. Stan Lee is one of my all-time biggest heroes ever, and I wish I could have met him before he passed away. But my point is, always be a fan of yourself. You don't need to be be upset that your biggest heroes passed away, even though you want to meet them. But they want you to be a fan of yourself. That's what's more important. Thank you.
time to prank call Santa Claus. Hello, this is Santa Claus. How can I help you? Yeah, hello? Is this Santa Claus? Why, yes it is. And not Donald Trump in a suit. Is this Santa's workshop? No, it's the jungle. Of course it's Santa's workshop. Now what do you need? I'd like to order a large Krabby Patty with a side of cat fries and a cola drink. You got that? Whoa, 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 whoa. This ain't the Krusty Krab. Don't you know what this place is? Yeah, this is Santa's workshop. You deliver presents for kids. So I'm, I'm just asking for a Krabby Patty. Well, you called the wrong place, kid. This is not a restaurant, and we don't have Krabby Patties, and we never did. Oh, you don't have Krabby Patties? No, we don't. We never did. Okay, then. I'd like to order a large pizza with Krabby Patty fries and a large drink. Dude, I just said, this isn't a restaurant. We don't have pizza or Krabby Patties. You got that? Oh, really? Okay. Sorry, my mistake. I like to order a thousand of Krabby Patties. They're really good. We don't have Krabby Patties. There's never been a single Krabby Patty here. You got that? Okay. Two Krabby Patties. All right, that's it. You have gone way too far now. Now, how old are you, boy? Oh, I'm 17 years old, but my 18th birthday is on Friday. Good. That means you're old enough to go to prison. If you keep doing this to me, I will have a U.S. SWAT team to come to your location and arrest you. Okay, you okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I promise. But I just do have one question, though. That's it. Okay, good. But you better not do it again. Now, what is your question? Can I have thousands of Krabby Patties? Have them delivered to my house. Alright, that's it! I'll have all the US SWAT teams to arrest you in less than a second. Ooh, I'm so scared. Ah. Like you can do anything, you big elf. Don't worry, guys. Santa Claus isn't going to do anything, so I have nothing to be worried about. Uh oh. Oh, really? Okay, guys, um, thank you for watching this video, and I'll try to make more next time, okay? Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off!
great time giving you all love letters. <laughs> Fun fact, I tried to get as many people as I can some love letters, but they didn't want to be on a gopher news, so yeah. Thanks for watching this video, all you gophers. And now I'm going to Neverland. Okay, bye. <laughs>
My favorite horror movie of all time is Halloween from 1978. Okay, so the reason I really love this movie so much because one, it's scary and suspenseful and chilling. And second, Michael Myers looks really creepy. And third, you gotta love this music right here. <laughs> I know, creepy, right? You don't want to hear that music at nighttime. Trust me. Okay, so that's it for now, everyone. Thank you for sharing your favorite hard home for the Gopher News. I hope I can do stuff like this next time. Have a Gopherific day, everyone. Ah, uh, January. The first year today is 2020. Where a lot of crazy stuff happens. But. The holidays of January is New Year's and Martin Luther King's Day. So today, I'm going to pay tribute to Martin Luther King. So that's why all of these teenagers you're about to see are saying how they feel about Martin Luther King. All right, here we go. How do you feel about Martin Luther King? How do you feel about Martin Luther King? Oh, he was an influential person. Yeah. I didn't care about How do you feel about Martin Luther King? Okay. How do you feel about Martin Luther King? Uh, he's awesome and great, and he's the reason why black people are here today. Anything else? Tell me how you feel about Martin Luther King. Um, how do I feel about Martin Luther King? Um, I just feel like he was a fighter, supporting uh, black people, and that's just something that's really crazy about history. And with him, everything was great. Like, awesome. Anything else? Uh, anything else about Martin Luther King? I just, he's, uh, he motivated me to keep going, keep fighting, and not let anybody tell me that I can't do whatever. How do you feel about Martin Luther King? Ready? How do you feel about Martin Luther King? He's a great person. Anything else? Okay, how do you feel about Martin Luther King? I actually respect him, really. Without him, we wouldn't have this great place, really. Anything else? So yeah, they're all right about him. Martin Luther King, he had a dream, and his dream came true. He changed the world with his speech. And maybe one day, if you have a dream, and if you keep fighting for it, not literally, but if you keep fighting for it, you might change the world too. All right, have a gopherific day, everyone. <laughs>